What up, what up, what up? It's your boy JB coming at you live and direct, and you know what it is. It's the Smoke Something, Drink Something podcast. Man, I had to jump on here real fast and get into this topic. Is Coach Prime showing favoritism? Is Coach Prime showing favoritism? Man, y'all do me a favor, get down in the description. My contact information is below. Follow me on the socials and that kind of thing. It really helps. Channel helps the algorithm get down in the comment section. Let me know what you think after I do this video. And if you hadn't already matched that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notifications. Again, it's Coach Prime showing favoritism. I don't know if you guys saw Alton McCaskill jumped into the transfer portal, followed by, you know, he, he followed the uh, Kermaine, the Kermani McLean uh, uh, exit. And if you hadn't seen it, Coach Prime has lost about 10 or 11, 12 players, if I'm not mistaken, so far at the time of this recording to the transfer portal. And one of the things that happened, guys, is that Alton McCaskill jumped into the transfer portal, running back from the University of Houston that came last year. I believe he got injured, wasn't able to do his thing like he thought he was going to do. But this year, he should have been fully healthy and have a chance to compete uh, for that running back spot, running back carries and that kind of thing. Well, he jumped into the portal and all of a sudden his dad drops this message on Twitter saying that if his son can't be RB1 or running back one, he's not going to stay at Colorado basically accused Coach Prime of showing favoritism. Well, duh, of course Coach Prime is showing favoritism. And we know who he's talking about. He's talking about Dylan Edwards. Dylan Edwards played for Coach Prime when Coach Prime was coaching Pop Warner in Little League. Dylan Edwards has known Coach Prime since he was six. Dylan Edwards flipped from Notre Dame to come to Colorado when Coach Prime came to Colorado. Dylan Edwards is putting in work. Dylan Edwards is eating properly, going to class, taking care of his body, can catch the ball out of the backfield, can, can, is an every down back. More importantly, guys, he signed up to play uh, to run on the track team to stay in shape for football. He's putting in an extra work. How is Coach Prime supposed to bench him for your son because your son thinks he should be running back number one or RB1? Of course Coach Prime is showing favoritism, guys. We as black men got to start realizing that favoritism is a part of it. I play favorites. The more you the more you are in tune with my messaging and my vision and it's helping you grow too, of course I'm going to reward your behavior. Favoritism is a part of life, guys. You're talking about a coach who ranks his kids. He knows that favoritism is there. He doesn't hide it. So why are you as a father thinking that you're going to be able to come in and usurp Dylan Edwards from that position when Dylan Edwards didn't do anything to lose it. As a matter of fact, Dylan Edwards said, I'm going to recommit when the, when the Buffaloes only won four games. I'm going to recommit and come back in here even stronger. And if you look at the well-off media videos, what has Dylan Edwards done to lose RB1? It just hadn't been there. So Alton McCaskill dropped another statement today. said, man, dude, my father don't talk for me. And he, he thanked Coach Prime for everything he did. Because if you're going to go into the transfer portal thinking you're going to be RB1 versus letting people know that I'm going to come in and I'm going to work to show you why you should consider me. Guys, this stuff makes a difference. Coach Prime is showing favoritism and it's OK. We need to start recognizing how leadership works. This stuff where we think things should be fair and all this kind of stuff, guys, that's not reality. So I'm glad he went to the transfer portal because he knew he wasn't going to be RB1. But at the end of the day, it's not because Coach Prime is showing favoritism. It's because Dylan Edwards hadn't done anything to lose the job. If anything, Dylan Edwards has done everything to keep the job and secure it. We need to be praising Dylan Edwards. That's the reason why McCaskill jumped into the transfer portal. And if his dad has been playing, paying attention to well-off media, he would have known that. I'm glad McCaskill, I'm glad the son jumped into the, uh, on, on X and reiterated that, hey, man, don't let somebody talking that's related to me make you think that that's me and some of us need to learn from that a lot of people associated for y'all talking on behalf of y'all ruining your opportunities Alton McCaskill doesn't want to ruin his next opportunity coach prime was nothing but good to him injuries happen guys and that's what happened to Alton McCaskill so again yeah favoritism happens so is coach per is coach prime showing favoritism yes he is as he should just like every other coach who has has recruited players that's doing exactly what he wants them to do. Y'all get down in the comment section. Let me know what you think, man. If you hadn't already, match that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notifications, man. And until next time, we gon' holler.